never been this good before. Ever since I've had the op, it's been fantastic. It's been a life changer, the operation. Everybody says daily on each point of break. What a glorious day, the sun is shining, there's a blue sky and very little cloud to be seen. What a glorious day. Show you the small the tag is not showing, but it's your Robert Tim's Italian style. Copper copper. Yes, I'm in good spirits again this morning. Isn't it wonderful how uplifting your mood can be when you treat your life as a positive one and not so much negative? So it is glorious concentrating on me. Uh, possibly more so than the negative. What are my plans for today? Wouldn't you like to know? Not much actually. I've got an early doctor's appointment. I've got to go see my doctor who's got to run some tests. The hospital apparently, when she faxed through my referral letter, rang her back and asked her to perform some more blood tests. I guess the reason why they've done this is because when you go to hospital, we all know, I mean, pathology is pretty quick when it needs to be. It can have results for you within, within the half an hour mark, really, within five to 10 minutes even, given that the test you've had, I spill my coffee when I pull up my shirt. Um, given that the <coughs> test you've had um, can be performed and the results can be given back to you in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. But most tests I think that a hospital runs can give you the results within a half an hour. Um, especially when you're unconscious, um, uh, very not breathing much for yourself, when it's life threatening. So I guess what the hospital's done is they've asked the doctor to perform some general testing that can be done general nature at a GP's office um, and these results can actually be fast-tracked picked up and delivered as a result to the doctor within the hour so all I have to do is hang around for an hour which is not hard to do my wound's got to be dressed I guess again with a silver press dressing they seem to like the silver dressings these days I'm up early so I can do my feet. Um, oh, I'll give you a look at my feet actually. What I do quite often. Um, showing my feet to people because there are some weird people out there with some weird fetishes. But anyway, here we go. So on this foot, I've got no toe, no big toe. But I do have some little skin, they're not skin tears, but they're little cuts in the skin because they're they're hard skin, um, so I'm going to um, sandpaper these down this morning. Not with sandpaper, but with an object that you can um, do with a special foot sander. Um, not the electric type, the manual type, so I'm going to do that this morning. I'm going to have my coffee first, the big cup of coffee, and I'm going to love it. I love it already. I don't go anywhere usually without having my first cup of coffee or my first chocolate milk. That's another thing I've been having lately. I am going to be trying to, if I do, if I do, go to hospital, I'm going to try and vlog there this time. I've been really self-conscious about videoing, myself included. Um, it's sort of embarrassing when people see you with a camera. However, I don't have the average cam camera. I don't have a camera at all. I have a phone with a camera and I use it. But sometimes it can be perceived as you taking footage of hospital staff, etc., which you're not allowed to do now. Um, with my last visit to the ER, it specifically said that 
um, permission had to be granted from professionals and the right people, which I'd assume would be human resources, because staff are obviously starting to feel violated with some of the footage that is going out there. And I don't blame them really. I mean, I don't mind taking footage, but it's usually not of hospital staff. Um, the only hospital footage I've got is in that one um, video, just that one, and that's of me being wheeled down in a wheelchair down to the transit lounge. And that's probably the only video you will see where you'll find staff in it, where I don't physically ask for their permission to film. Any other video that I plan to take today or in the near future, I will ask these people whilst I'm recording whether it's okay that I do so. But it is also hospital policy apparently that I don't record that person, so you're in a catch-22 situation. Although you can ask for permission to film that person, it doesn't necessarily mean that you've got permission to film them on the premises. So all this fine and grey and little small print, it makes a difference to some. But I understand that because I know there are people out there that do want to maintain, you know, their um, secrecy. There are certain things that, or situations that you could be in that you may not want to, you may want to make that choice to be who you are. A lot of nurses help doctors save lives every day and it's not necessarily their time or their place. Um, to keep saving people. When they're off duty, they're off duty. So, and I do understand that regardless of what other people think, so. I've um, friend requested those people, by the way, that have asked me to, because I do have my Facebook on, you can't search for me. No, I, like you, you, know, you normally can't search for me on other sort of forms of other platform forms. Um, I do like to maintain a fair amount of privacy in my life, um, especially when I've taken this on board. My family did say that, look, unless we want to be, we won't be filmed. Um, and we don't also want our privacy divulged by through Facebook, because um, you can see your friends and all that on Facebook. So I've had to rechange all my settings to make sure that people I befriend can't see my friends because my family and my close friends want to keep it close and keep it family. Oh, I tell you what, all these different requests, but I'm actually glad that Facebook does cater for all those requests. It really does, in all shapes, sizes and forms. So I've got to hand it to you, Facebook. You're doing a good job where it comes to privacy. So, well, I'm going to enjoy my cup of tea, enjoy the sun, on this very beautiful day on the Gold Coast. Read my messages from you lovely people out there. Thank you again for your ongoing support and wish you a lovely day. But I'm sure you will be catching up with me again right here on this platform, YouTube. So as my son keeps telling me to say, it's bye for now. I wanted to let you guys know that I've also um, paid my son to create some outros and intros for me on YouTube. So let me know if you're liking the ones that I'm putting on my um, YouTube videos. And if not, if there were other ones that you preferred and see what we can do for you. Um, he's wrapped actually, because I've given him 20 bucks to create two actual um, intros and outros, so that's four in total. So let's see if we can give him a huge thumbs up. He's actually on YouTube as well, but I don't know, I've got to find out first whether people want him to have his um, platform ID or whatever they call it. I don't think he does. I think he's only keeping it to his friends. He wants to be a gamer when he grows up and make millions and millions of money, and I don't have any problems with that actually shut the door on you and you can't eat your treat now in the room. Oh my goodness me, Miss Bambi. Never mind. We will just accommodate in other ways.
I'm on the way. <laughs> Fuck me, Dad. I'm keeping that in. I'm going to keep that in. My kids are loonies. Actually, not kids, because I only have one kid. I have an adult. Can I show you quickly? No. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Can't even show quickly. Well, folks, we are on the way to not the hospital. The doctors. The doctors rang me last night. They wanted to, or she wanted to, do some more blood tests. Um, she emailed or faxed at the hospital yesterday. Obviously, the doctor on call had rang her back and said, "Look." No use her coming in. We want you to take some blood work from her first and ascertain some other things as well. I asked her at the same time how long pathology takes to get back. So in this particular case, they'll do it in an hour. So within the hour, she'll have the results. And obviously, if I then need to go to the hospital, I can go. So I am feeling... Oh, well, I thought... My daughter just said didn't bring a bag, but... I don't like sitting around with a bag on me in the hospital because they pot, they think, oh, she's come already. She knows she's got to be admitted. You know what I mean? Like a know-it-all type of thing. So I don't like to betray that. Or don't want to sort of, you know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Peeps, you know what I mean? Peeps, you know, peeps. <laughs> anyway, so I took my temperature this morning and I'll insert it right here. 38.9 is quite a high temperature. It's on the higher side of the just getting high. So anything under 90 Celsius or degrees. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, maybe 100 degree Fahrenheit. I know about 104 Fahrenheit is about a, a bad temperature. But is this oh, open now? Oh my God, no. I knew I was you going the wrong way. You fell. You did too, and I just thought maybe that it's open now. Dixon, for some reason, I want this one. Certain streets we can't go down because they've blocked it off, and it's only going one way, but only when you travel south, not north. Anyway, so yes, I've had some temperatures. I've got pus, as you know, because I I actually made a whole video on my recent pus age. Um, so it's, I have, do have a lot of pus coming from that area as well as another area, but I don't think I'll mention that one. Um, so, what? No, I didn't. Technically, it's a technicality, okay? God, my daughter and my son. And then if you are stupid, then that's your fault because you're stupid. They're not stupid. My followers are all well and truly educated people. I know, this bloke's walking across the road with two fucking woolly dogs. <laughs> he's got no top on. I know, and the thing is, he's looking at us. Not sort of looking at him, because you can't sort of tell really. Well, you couldn't with my daughter, and I couldn't with me, because I wasn't following him with my head. Um, but yes, just reminded me, I need to swap my glasses. That way he definitely wouldn't be able to see my eyes. Not that I am going to be looking at someone half my age. Not that it's wrong, but anyway. All right, guys, girls, everybody in this world. I've got to go. My spirits are up, as you can see still, thanks to my lovely daughter and my bestie friend who's, who took me out yesterday. Um, haven't been around home where the um, cycle of depression kicks in. Anyway, all right, I will go. I'll say no more for now, and you'll see me again very soon as my son reminds me. Bye for now.